y'all, we only a month and a week in, and I think the movies this year have already broke me. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy D coming to you with another DA experience live from my humble abode. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all your love and all the comments I've been getting. Um, appreciate that. This week, I, I I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I get I, I just I can't just have hype for movies anymore because anytime I get behind one, that I think original original. I think it's going to be good, and it's not. And I, I just, I wanted this one to be so good. But I was already, like, iffy with the first trailer, but I love the story. If you don't know, I went and saw Winchester this weekend. Uh, it revolves around the widow uh, Winchester of the guy that, well, the company that created the Winchester rifle. The gun that won the West, as they say. Um, and if you didn't know, she built this crazy mansion in San Jose, California. It used to be seven stories tall, hundreds of rooms. Uh, which was the weirdest part about it is that it was quirky and people say that she the, she made it for the ghost of the people that had been killed by the Winchester rifle. Some said she made it to, uh, to they, she was getting haunted and she made the mansion as crazy as she did to um, throw them off so that they couldn't find her and to keep them trapped inside the house so she could have moments of peace. Uh, she had a seance room and, 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 and stairs that went nowhere and cascading maze type steps and it was it's, it's crazy. And when I first heard about this, this is what gave me my love of, you know, abandoned places and haunted mansions and all that good stuff. Uh, find out these quirky stories and backstories on things. You know, they even give tours of this place now. And when I first heard they were making this movie, I was ecstatic. Then I heard that Helen Mirren was going to play Winchester, Lady Winchester in it. I thought, okay, they can't go wrong with this. And they were going to make it into a horror movie. It was going to deal with ghosts and haunted houses. And this is like the most known haunted house in the world. Well, one of them. And they completely, pardon the language, shit the bed. They, they just dropped the ball completely. It was just the most generic horror movie I've ever seen. It, instead of building up tension and building up backstory, you have Helen uh, Helen Mirren just spouting up exposition about, do you feel this and you feel that? And she was trying, I mean, some of the writing was okay, but she was like just spouting out exposition. And they just went for like jump scares in the movie instead of actually creating something that was a really good story. You have it all there. It was right there waiting for you. The place has been there for a hundred years, over a hundred years. Um, they probably worked. To, then you have this huge mansion. And how do all the sets and rooms look exactly alike? And they focused on three areas. The one room the guy was in. This one area, like the, the hall, and then the steps, for some reason, the maze steps, which is this small corridor. I don't know. Maybe they didn't get the rights to go to other areas or rebuild these areas or something. But if you're going to do something based on the Winchester Mansion, make the mansion the damn focal point. Make it a part of the cast, which they tried to, but they failed miserably. The story was just so lacking. I just, I left out of there. Like, the last 20 minutes is just like every other movie. A lot of you night, it became Ghostbusters at the end in the way they defeat one of the ghosts. And uh, it, it just, I, you can see on my face, I was just let down. And after this and some lackluster movies last month, I'm just like, ugh, can I get a break? Um, I don't think anything good is coming out next week. Maybe, what, Peter Rabbit or something? I don't know. Uh, luckily, two weeks from now, Black Panther comes out, and I'm hearing great things about that, so... Give me a win. Um, other than that, y'all, I I can't even go into it. It's, the story is just it's it just never grabs you. Uh, if you're a horror movie fan, you'll be left bored. It's like some jump scares, I and mean, then they even go to the same jump scares twice in the movie. Like they have two main ones, and they do it's like five scares in the movie. Um, they don't create a good atmosphere. It's never really eerie in the movie. They hire people to just play like you know the spooky spooky butler that only says one word and, and 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 they had a chance to make some actual characters and build something on the story that's been a part of american history for so long and i just i couldn't 
This movie gets one and a half Winchester rifles out of five, y'all. I just avoid this movie. I think I'm going to go sit for a while because I just need to reevaluate my life after this one. I, I'm, I was just so let down. Um, mainly it gets the half a star for Helen Mirren. She, she tried, but... <sighs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good... Uh, time watching the big game tonight. I'm recording this on Sunday. Um, yeah, I just, I'm done. Out.